us up over there. You're going to have a field day, aren't you? Is that what you're hoping? All right, so I'm going to give you just a little tidbit about us again. I'm cheap. I am so cheap that I can, it's frustrating sometimes, even to myself. Um, we have needed a good wheelbarrow barrel for the better part of, for the better part of six years. And, you know, guys, they're expensive. Um, you know, and then we get to a point where we're like, we really need to get a wheelbarrow and I'll get all set and get myself ready to spend all that money on a wheelbarrow and the lumberjack will come home with a wheelbarrow and I'll be like, where'd you get that wheelbarrow? Well, either someone gave it to him or he saw it on Craigslist for five bucks or he picked it up along the side of the road. This one was probably a pickup along the side of the road. And the problem is they never last more than a week or two. There's a reason they're cheap and free. and. Uh, but I don't, you know, I don't like to throw them out, so I hold on to them. And as we're establishing this this uh, pantry garden up here behind the house, I was like, you know, I got these extra wheelbarrows. I've got to do something with them. Like, I can't bring myself to throw them, especially this one. I thought this one was really pretty. still has the wooden handles. It's got that pretty orangish yellow paint on it. And I said to him, you know what, drag it up the hill. I'm gonna use it in my garden bed. So he did come in and drill holes through it to allow for drainage. And I'm probably gonna to have to prop something under it, under the front here, because it, it is slanted a little more. I'm afraid the dirt's gonna wash down and out. Um, so I'll get something to prop the front up. But seriously, the whole wheelbarrow was free. The dirt was a couple dollars. I, I had wanted to put in here um, some plants, but I forgot to leave some out. And so I just put some seeds in here, and I did put watermelon, I think the Georgia rattlesnake, and a fort and a white pumpkin, and you know, I'm looking forward to seeing these just trail down through the gardens as they grow. But if you do it at home, make sure that this isn't as slanted as what I have it here. I'm going to have to raise it. I'm just afraid that as the rain comes, it's just going to wash it all out. But I mean, for free, a couple dollars for soil, you can grow in just about anything. And this is my DIY garden growing pot for the day. So that's it. Quick, simple. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys later. Hey, Abbers, come over here and say hi. Say hi. Come here. Hi. Look, this is Abby, guys. Before we leave. Hi. This is our rescue. She, uh, she's part corgi. She's got a tail. My least favorite thing about a dog. I love a dog without a tail, but I love her anyhow. That's it. We'll see you guys next time.